Thank you, Nick. Many parents in the capital city wondering what to do next year after a local daycare announced that they'll be closing their doors. The center AJ says they had to close due to higher expenses and the loss of COVID-based federal funding. And our Kyra Willis sat down with the daycare center in Decatur. She brings us more on how they are moving forward without that pandemic era relief funding. The American Rescue Plan provided daycare centers across the country with access to funding in order to keep child care centers afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic. That funding ended last September and daycare centers around the country have been impacted by the loss. Decatur Daycare Center Executive Director Jackie Smith is thankful that she's been able to keep her center open after the loss of federal funding, saying it helped raise wages and pay for supplies. We have been able to um, maintain where we are. The COVID money was a huge help, but it was um, a short-term supplement for us during those uncertain times. But the Illinois Network of Child Care Resource and Referral Agencies Executive Director Dan Harris says there has been a decrease in child care providers in Illinois, saying the loss of funding is partly the reason. From uh, state fiscal year 2020 um, to state fiscal year 2022, the state saw a net decrease in the number of child care providers. Governor Pritzker has implemented the Smart Start Illinois program as a solution to the loss of COVID era funding. The program aims to increase funding to child care providers, saying daycare centers need help from the government to raise wages for their staff. One of the key elements of Smart Start Illinois, what, what's being proposed for the next fiscal year, is to direct those grants to child care providers directly to increase compensation of the people doing the work. Smith says while she has been able to stay afloat without the funding, other daycare centers in central Illinois haven't been so lucky, saying due to several closures, they have a full waiting list. There's um, a need for child care, especially in the infant and toddler age range. So um, I know it's, it's a real problem that others in the field are facing it. Smith says a big portion of the daycare income comes from grants and funding provided by the federal government, saying without help, she could be faced with closing. In the studio, I'm Kyra Willis. Back to you. Well, thank you, Kyra. Along with providing more funding to child care centers, the Smart Start program also looks to expand access to preschool programs for Illinois families. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.